The exhibition is titled Harambe 63. It's about African revolutions and ordinary people. And it's about the people who made Kenya become what it was. It focuses on the 50 years before 1963. It picks people from all over the world, from C.L.R. James to George Padmore to Martin Luther King to Miriam Makeba to Kwame Nkrumah. I particularly don't focus on Kenya because I think that's a conversation that we should have ourselves. I decided to work on Harambe 63. Uh, taking it as an opportunity to do, make art out of history. I wanted to make history accessible to people in a way that they'd appreciate, in a way that they could experience. It reignite the conversation about where we come from and where we're headed. We're celebrating 50 years, but do we know where we've come from? Mm -hmm. Particularly my generation, do we understand that? exhibition, when I created it, I had two people in mind. I had my mother, who in the 70s lived in racialized America. I also had my grandfather, who fought in World War II and was then detained here in Kenya, in Manyani. We all have histories within us. We all have stories to tell. My generation doesn't know very much about our history. But I think if we began to look, if we began to ask the questions about those people who are in there, those 63 faces, then we might find out that we have a lot more in common, not just here in Africa, but also across the world. will be more interested in the past and that they will go out and find out more about the people who are featured in this exhibition. I hope the people will have a pride in themselves knowing that we come from a great continent. It starts from just our simple identity as Africans. I love the fact that she actually managed to do something that's quite subtle but have a lot of power inside it so that when you immediately have a look at the exhibition you're not aware of exactly what's going on until the sense of the revolution and the speeches and everything that's going on starts to sweep you in. What I loved about this is that it asked more questions than it tried to answer. The message behind the gumboots that we saw, very deep, very well thought through. I think, especially for one boy, I think what a great start to an absolutely fantastic career. It gives you an appreciation of what sort of odds African nationalists were up against at the time. And, and so to see it replayed here um, is, is pretty moving. Yeah. I think she's done a fantastic job. I would encourage her to kind of pursue this line as conceptual artist. Go for it, one boy. Uh, we're excited to have this exhibition at our space. Thank you for choosing Kuwana Trust as the gallery of choice to kind of premiere this and we look forward to more. I want to say thank you to Kuwana Trust, first of all, for providing the grant, for running with me on this idea. Every day, every day. I want to thank my mom because my mom influenced what I know about Africa and she bred within me a pride in myself and being African.